a 141-foot tower is located on the side of a mountain that is inclined 33 degrees to the horizontal. So looking at the diagram below, here's the tower that is 141 feet tall, and because the mountain is inclined 33 degrees to the horizontal, this angle here measures 33 degrees. A guy wire, which is a support wire, is attached to the top of the tower and anchored at a point 72 feet downhill from the base of the tower. So this red segment here would be the guy wire, and because it's anchored 72 feet downhill from the base of the tower, we know the measure of this length here is 72 feet. Our goal here is to find the shortest length of the wire needed for the guy wire. Let's go ahead and say the length of this red segment here, the guy wire, has a length of x feet. Notice how if we focus on this obtuse triangle here, if we knew the measure of this obtuse angle formed by these two sides, which we know the length of, we could use the law of cosines to determine the length of x. So let's first focus on determining this obtuse angle in this obtuse triangle. To do this, we'll use a property of parallel lines cut by a transversal. So if we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, like this, one of the properties is that alternate interior angles are equal. For example, this angle would have the same measure as this angle. So if we apply this to our diagram and we use the horizontal as one of the parallel lines, and we form a second parallel line that passes through the vertex of this obtuse angle, it might look something like this. And because this angle measures 33 degrees, the alternate interior angle is also 33 degrees, which would be this acute angle here. So this angle measures 33 degrees, but also notice this parallel line forms a right triangle here, where this would be the right angle, which measures 90 degrees. Which means the obtuse angle in this obtuse triangle would be 90 degrees plus 33 degrees, or 123 degrees. So now we know the measure of the obtuse angle in our triangle. This obtuse angle here is 123 degrees. So now we can apply the law of cosines to determine the length of the guy wire or the length of x. Remember when applying the law of cosines, this side here on the left side of the equal sign, in this case a, is always opposite the angle used on the right side, in this case angle a. So because we're trying to find x, we'll have x squared here on the left, and we'll use 123 degrees as the angle on the right. And sides b and c would be the two sides that form the known angle. So applying the law of cosines to our obtuse triangle, we would have x squared equals 72 squared plus 141 squared, and then minus 2 times 72 times 141 times cosine of the angle formed by the two sides we know the length of, which is our angle 123 degrees. So we'd have x squared equals, and now we'll go to the calculator to evaluate the right side. Let's first verify we are in degree mode, so we'll press the mode key. Notice how degree is highlighted. So go back to the home screen, and we'll enter 72 squared plus 141 squared minus 2 times 72 times 141 times cosine 123 degrees. Enter. So here's the value of x squared, 36,123.35, or we should say approximately. And now to find the length of x, we'll take the square root of both sides, and we're only concerned about the positive square root because x is a length. So let's go back to the calculator one more time. Since we already have this value in here, since taking the square root is equivalent to raising it to the one-half power, we could just press the exponent key and then enter the exponent of one-half, and then press enter. 
This would be the same thing as taking the square root of 36,123.35097. So the approximate length of the guy wire would be 190.06 feet. So we can say the shortest length of the wire is approximately 190 and 6 hundredths, or 0 0.06 feet. I hope you found this helpful.